I'm Andrew King, the author of STARS, A Very Short Introduction. Now, you may think that stars are something terribly remote from your life, but actually, every molecule, every atom in your body has been a part not just of one star, but probably several stars because astronomers know that's how all the elements heavier than helium were actually manufactured. The stars uh, inevitably through uh, physical processes produce all of the chemical elements that we're familiar with and if it were not for the stars then none of the elements that make life possible carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, potassium and so on none of those would exist in the universe. So the life of the stars is a really important thing. It's been reconstructed by astronomers for something like a century now and at many points in that story they have uh, been accompanied by revolutions in physics and so our final knowledge of how elements are made had to wait until physicists understood nuclear reactions. But like any other organism that has a, a life stars also have a death and the three possible forms of death for stars are a, uh, an object of great fascination. Uh, there's white dwarf, black hole and uh, a neutron star. The last two are so dense that if I were to try and pick up a teaspoon of them it would weigh not a ton but a billion tons. So you can see that fairly spectacular things happen to stars through their lifetimes. And so what my book tries to do is to lead the viewer through, the reader I should say, through, through the, uh, the lifetimes of the stars and uh, show you how all these things came about.